Hey guys, this is emix 77 from FinalCutStudioSchool.com um, and uh, I've had a lot of questions about text and putting text on a path in Motion and it's really simple, a lot of experienced Motion users will have no problem with this but a lot of new people to Motion would like to know how to animate text in different ways so let's just show, I'm going to show them how to do things on a path, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to get my text tool and type in some text. Now we have our text in the canvas here. Let's go to our inspector. Okay. Now under layout, under the text tab, under the layout button of the text tab, the very first one parameters layout method. It's under type right now. You can go paragraph or path. Select path. And you won't see anything right now. Um, but if you select your uh, double select your text tool and then double click on your text, you'll get these bezier handles here. You can see. And with these you can Kind of drag them out. Real simple, you know. And you can use your bezier handles to make it more rounded. And now we have our text here. And all we have to do is go down to our path options and use our path offset. And when we do that, you'll see that our path offset animates our text right around our path that we just made. If we want it on the inside of the path, we can click the inside path button and that will put it on the inside of the path and I'll demonstrate that here in just a minute so now let's just go up here to the path options and it says open spline this is where it gets interesting now remember you can do B spline like this or you can do Bezier like, like what we just had so now we have open spline let's go to close spline and you'll see that that closes our shape let's go back to Bezier you'll see that that closes our shape and when we mess with our path offset it goes around the outside and it goes around the inside too and this kind of freaks people out sometimes so that's because this is not a real circle if you want it to do that you go to your path shape again and select circle okay this will turn it into a circle now when we select our path offset you can see it goes around and if we select our inside path button it puts it on the inside of our circle as you can see and this is the circle radius makes it bigger and smaller and animate your offset as you can see that goes on around like that okay then there is what else is there after circle there's rectangle which is really cool you know you can anim have it animating around and keyframe it and stuff you can go on the inside or the outside it's really up to you what your animation is calling for and then there is wave which is you know pretty self-explanatory uh, there's a lot more um, parameters to play with under wave. You'll just have to mess with them. There's amplitude, as you can see, you can go up and down. And there's frequency. You know, and of course there's the path offset like everything else. So to animate that, I just park my playhead on frame one, move it to what frame I wanted the animation to be, how long I wanted it to be. Say I want it to be 30 frames, I move it to frame 30, and then I use my path offset to animate it this way, and then set another keyframe right here at frame 30. You see, so I just turn on my record button and set keyframes, and that's how it would animate. Okay, now that's the wave. Here's dampening, too, if you're wondering what dampening does. Um, kind of a cool little effect. Okay, that's that's wave. Now let's look at geometry. Now what geometry does will let you have your own source shape. Okay, and I'm going to demonstrate this. So let's let's go up to create and click on our mask tool, or, or, or I mean our create shape tool, and let's go in here and create a shape like this. Okay, now open up your uh, your project pane here, your layers, and if you click off of it. And then back on it, you'll see bloop, it threw down this shape. Okay? Now all you gotta do is go back to your text in your layout tab, drag that shape down into that say sh shape source, and boom, do our path offset. Our name goes along the path we just created. So let's create that, just delete that shape again. And let's create another one. We'll have it come up here, then we'll have it come back up 
around. We'll make this one pretty elaborate. In case you wanted to have an object, an arrow, a ball, something following a specific path. Okay, now that we got our shape here. You can see. We can drag, go back and select our text again. Go to the layout tab. Drag our shape to the geometry shape source. And now when we animate our path offset, our name goes right along with it. So that is how you animate text on a path, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I know it's pretty simple stuff, but I've, there's a lot of people just get in motion for the first time here. And um, I wanted them to show specifically how to animate text on a path. And these are several options. You all play with them. See what you can come up with. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.